Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and I wanted to take the new Samsung Gear S2 and find out if it could work as a fitness tracker. So the Samsung Gear S2 has some major fails when it comes to it functioning as a fitness tracking device. So let's just go ahead and get those out of the way now. The first up is the number of fitness applications available for download. There's only a handful of them. None of them are good fitness applications or any that you would want to use. And none of them are mainstream or compatible with other mainstream apps. So you're stuck with S Health, which is Samsung's own proprietary fitness application. Now S Health isn't bad, but it's definitely got its limitations, which we will get into some more here shortly. The next major fail of the Samsung Galaxy S2 was that it was unable to pair or even see other Bluetooth fitness devices like heart rate monitors, uh, and an optical heart rate hat that I use as well. So what you're seeing on screen now is me trying to pair it with the Polar H7 Bluetooth chest strap and the device wasn't even able to see it. That's a first. Every other device or smartphone I've ever used was at least able to see the device even if it couldn't pair with it. The next major fitness fail is not having built-in GPS. So that means uh, you'll have to bring your phone with you if you want GPS capabilities. You won't be able to take just your watch out with you for a run and be able to get accurate GPS tracking, uh, which in my opinion is a major fail for any fitness tracking device at this point. So since S Health is really the only uh, app that works well with the Samsung Gear S2, let's go ahead and take a look at the app and how it works with the watch itself. Uh, it should be noted that it has step tracking, active calorie tracking, but not all day calories. It does have a limited number of diet tracking, which includes food and water. You can manually track sleep, which depending on who you are, could be considered another strike against it. It will track exercise, but it's very limited to the number of exercises it will track, which only include running, walking, cycling, hiking, an elliptical trainer, an exercise bike, or a step machine. And that's it. No weightlifting or anything like that. Now, I did try to take it weightlifting and enter into the walk mode, but it really just only registered a few of my hand movements as walking, uh, and it totally did not get my heart rate accurate. Uh, the weightlifting threw off the heart rate tracking as well. Now, the optical heart rate monitor is great for measuring resting heart rate, and one of the things I like about this device is that when it measures your resting heart rate, you can select after you've taken the measurement what state you're in, and then you can go back into the app later on and look at what your resting heart rate is, what your heart rate is when you're happy or sad or excited, and it kind of helps put your heart rate into different perspectives, which is something unique that I've not seen others do before. Now you can take a manual reading like what I'm doing on screen right now, and you can also set the fitness tracker to take automatic readings throughout the day. Now I did go ahead and take this out for a jog, and minus the lack of GPS, it actually did pretty well. So after my run, I synced up the device with my phone and I was provided with this nice graph that shows my heart rate during the run, along with a bunch of other collected metrics and information. So let's go ahead and take a look at that information compared to the Apple Watch, which was paired with GPS, to find out how accurate this device is. The Gear S2 estimated my jogging miles at 0.97 miles, and that was without GPS, compared to the Apple Watch, which was using using GPS uh, and came in at 1.03 miles. So really close, even in spite of the fact that it didn't have onboard GPS. So this means the onboard accelerometers uh, do a great job estimating distance while you're jogging. Now keep in mind, these accelerometers aren't gonna be triggered when you're cycling. You're gonna need the onboard GPS of your phone to get accurate distance uh, measurements when you're cycling. Now I do believe that the Apple Watch heart rate monitor wasn't quite as accurate as the Samsung Gear S2. You'll notice on the left, it said at the bottom there, my average heart rate was 158 beats per minute, which was pretty accurate. It was a fairly short one mile jog. And that my max heart rate was 194 and of course that happened because at the very end there was a hill and I sprinted up the hill to try to elevate my heart rate and the Apple Watch put my average heart rate at 171 beats per minute which to me personally just feels like it's probably a little bit higher than it actually was. Now the Gear S2 seemed also to agree with the Apple Watch's basic all day fitness tracking, which they were within five active calories of each other. Uh, the Apple Watch came in at 343, the Samsung Gear S2 at 348 for active calories. So the Gear S2 in conjunction with S Health will provide you with basic fitness tracking and the ability to somewhat accurately track your jogging.
But if you're looking for more advanced all day fitness tracking capabilities like all day calories or automatic sleep tracking, or if you're someone who wants to keep track of your exercise with a very accurate designated uh, fitness tracker, you're gonna have to find something that's designed for that. This is designed as a smartwatch and it has the uh, fitness tracking capabilities kind of tacked on afterwards as an afterthought. In my opinion, we're not at a place yet where smartwatches are fitness trackers or fitness trackers are smartwatches. They're still two very distinct categories that we haven't quite yet seen merge and this is another example of that. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, there's two other videos you should check out. The link is on screen now. It's also in the description below. Three things that I hate about the Samsung Gear S2 and three things that I love about the Samsung Gear S2. Thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.